All right, today we're going to discuss the greatest deception in human history, which is Project Blue Beam, aka a fake alien invasion. Today we're going to discuss with facts, with Bible, and with quoted um, with quotes from ex-military generals, ex-pilots, ex-corporals, and ex-colonels, even presidents, even NASA operators. Okay, let's get busy. Harry S. Truman says, I can assure you that flying saucers, given the fact that they exist, are not constructed by any power on earth. He is lying. These machines are being produced underground. These machines are being um, used by United States fi fighter fires to construct this. This has been going on for almost 75 to 80 years. They have the machines. They are ready. They're in production. And they're getting ready for the call from Satan to bring these things forth. Let's get some more. Gordon Cooper ex-NASA, a.k.a. fighter, I mean, uh, pilot, says, I believe that these extraterrestrial vehicles and their crews are visiting this planet from other planets. Most astronauts were reluctant to discuss this UFO, you discuss UFOs. Well, NASA is a deception. They're all into it. They're all Freemasons. NASA means to deceive in Hebrew, okay? Let's get some more. This is what Ronald Reagan said. He says, perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bond. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. He wished for this, okay? All the presidents know about this, even back to George Washington. They all know about this. They all are in agreement to this. They all are dealing with the angels. They know what the angels look like. They know what they sound like. And they all are one mind. They want this to happen so the new world order will come. The whole purpose of this, the objective of this, and the context of the whole conversation is to basically break the bond, I mean, break the separation of religion, break the separation of ideology, break the separation of theology. They want everybody to be in fear so, you, so that you will accept this new world order and so that you will bow down to these entities. Remember I told you that the United States flag is not a flag of freedom and justice. It is a flag dedicated to the fallen angels and their children, okay? The stars are the angels. The stripes represent the families, the bloodlines. So remember, when you're pledging allegiance, you're pledging allegiance to them. More. This is one vehicle that you will see. This is one, not a vehicle that you possibly might see. This is one vehicle that you will see. Here's another one. This has all been dug deep into. Like grandma's pie, it's been dug deep into. I've done the research. This is all factual evidence of what you will see. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 19. And when you look up to the sky and see the sun, the moon, and the stars, which are the angels, all the heavenly array, do not be enticed into bowing down to them and worshiping things. The Lord your God has apportioned to all the nations under the heaven. He is warning you ever since the Old Testament that you do not bow down to these angels. You don't bow down to anything in heaven other than the Lord, not even the holy ones. He's also letting you know that just because these entities, when they come down, are going to be extremely powerful. Do not be tempted by fear or curiosity to bow down to them because they are false gods. They are fallen angels. They are agents of deceptions and they are extremely, extremely knowledgeable, extremely powerful, and extremely deceptive. So do not be deceived. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2 through 4. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them. Don't be shocked, don't be moved with fear, don't be moved with anger. Just know that these things were told to you before and they're coming to pass very soon. So prepare yourself spiritually. For those of you who don't know what dismayed means, it says, what does it mean to, not, to be not dismayed? To cause, to lose courage or resolution as because of alarm or fear. We must not let ourselves be dismayed by the task before us. Upset or perturbed, this is the definition. Now this is going to tell you, now I'm going to get, grab a scripture that's going to tell you exactly how the Lord is going to come back so that you do not be deceived. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 1 through 7, I mean 1, 1, chapter, <laughs> chapter 1 verse 1 through 7, I mean 7 through 8. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we know that God is coming back in flaming fire with his angels, okay? If you don't see a flaming fire up there, if you do not see a holy one up there, one that cannot be mistaken, 
with his angels. According to Ezekiel chapter 1, where it talked about the four faces and the uh, six wings with eyes in them, with the feet like calf's feet. If you do not see that, that is not the Lord Jesus. In fact, the Bible says that Jesus, when he comes, he will not be quiet. Okay? The, all these sightings that you see of alien, of so-called UFOs and all that, that's the United States government. When God shows up, he is not going to be quiet. In fact, it is going to be unmistakable, undeniable of who it is. So we have to understand, these angels, these fallen angels work in secret. God does not. When God rises up, when he moves his hand, nobody's going to be mistaken. Even the atheist is going to know what's going on. Okay? The people that are sitting around thinking that this is a game are going to know what's going on. Okay? Now remember, when that day comes, it will be like a normal day. Everybody will be barbecuing, kicking rocks, playing basketball, working out at Planet Fitness. You're going to be around when this stuff happens. So let's get some more. So now we know without a doubt that these things are coming. The United States government's been preparing for this for the entire time that they've been here on this soil. Okay? The United Nations knows about this. Russia knows about this. China knows about this. Uh, India knows about this. Israel knows about this. Great Britain knows about this. China, I mean, uh, Mexico knows about this. South America knows about this. Canada knows about this. Alaska knows about this. Hawaii knows about this. Everybody knows about this except you and me. Now you know. Do not be deceived because these things are coming to pass. This is their final card, which is an alien deception, which is on the Illuminati card. So let's get let's get busy. Let's get more. I'm going to show you this Illuminati card, too. All right. This is an official Illuminati game card, which is foretelling of a flying saucer, okay, which is a UFO invasion. It says this vehicle was found buried in a cornfield in Idaho. It will take a small number of people anywhere in the world undetectably within an hour. Linked to a personality, the flying saucer gives him 10 plus points against any attack to destroy or assassination. It is captured or destroyed if he is left unlinked. As property of the Illuminati, the flying saucer lets you make an one extra automatic takeover each turn. This may only be used for a resource. If you make this a takeover, you must discard your top undrawn plot card in exchange. You see this, y'all? The Simpsons talked about it, and the Illuminati cards talk about it, including your world leaders like Obama. Obama's a joke. Wake up, y'all. This is real serious business.